Cruz goes wide to the far side of the field. It's Armand Robinson to the near side and Jamal Rogers in the slot. This time out of the shotgun operates Dysart as Rogers goes in motion. High snap, play action. Dysart pumps and now will get sacked as Kaufman hauls him in back at the 20-yard line. That play was doomed from the start on a high snap to Dysart. By the time he hauled it in, they couldn't make the handoff and had to try and make something happen. As it is, it'll be a five-yard loss and be third down and 15. It threw the timing all off. Bake. I mean, you got to get the ball back there where Zach can control the football somewhere in between. RedHawks.com for more information. And check out Kroger.com to save time and money with digital coupons, rewards, and more. With over 60 collegiate properties, the best way to market your message to college sports fans is with ISP. Whether it's radio, television, internet, stadium signage, or any part of the game day atmosphere, ISP takes your business inside the game. ISP's creative marketing team is ready to enhance your company's visibility throughout the most exciting collegiate athletics in the country. Go to ISPSports.com and let us help take your business to the next level. We are America's home for college sports. Dysart under center takes the snap. Play action, looks to throw, looking near side. Moving around in the pocket, now rolling far side, trying to sidestep it, but instead gets sacked all the way back at the 40 yard line. Good pressure by the Huskies as they just would not let him escape. Sean Progar makes the sack on Dysart in 11, almost 12 yard loss on the play. It'll be second down at 22. 13th sack of the year for Northern Illinois. They don't sack the quarterback much, but when they do, they make sure you're on the, the turf. And I'll tell you something. Richmond Baking. Visit richmondbaking.com. to the near side. Willie Clark to the near side, excuse me. Lewis and Cox to the far side. Grady out of the short shotgun. Takes the snap. Play action and looks to throw. With time now feeling pressure. Will roll to the near side with room to run. Across midfield as they crack back on Martin Channels and Grady in Miami territory inside the 30 and down to the 26 yard line. Broken play. That's big yardage for the Huskies down to the Miami 26. A 33 yard run by the sophomore quarterback out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, he wanted to throw the football, Bacon. And he rolled to the right, and then all of a sudden he just reverses his field, and uh, he had all day to run. All day to run. They'll break the huddle and go with Cox wide to the far side. Double tight end set with Lewis to the near side. I fired 6'5, 281, and they just have a big line. Three wideouts tight to the formation on the far side of the field. Clark to the near side, out of the short shotgun. Grady takes the snap, rolling to the far side. Will run with the football inside the 10. He is hit and then keeps running inside the 5 and down to the 2-yard line. It'll be first and goal. They just will not come down. An 11-yard pickup for Grady. It'll be first and goal for the Huskies. Well, this is go time, and, and the defense uh, you know, has been put in a tough situation because of the kick return, but you know, you got to stop this guy. He's the backup quarterback, and, but he He's the better runner of the two. Yeah. yeah, he is the better runner. It's first and goal for the Huskies. The ball at the Miami two-yard line. They'll line up in a version of set down on the far hash at 15 at the 15-yard line. Salerno with a field goal already in the game. The snap, the hold, the kick is on the way, and it is good. So back to a 10-point ball game with 6.14 to play. It is Northern. Holmes caught it, and they did the smart thing, getting out of bounds. Again, Cruz and Robinson to the near side. As Dicer takes the snap, looking left again, feeling pressure and going down. Getting in there with the sack is Ron Newcomb. Sophomore out of Wheatfield, Indiana, quickly crashing in from the left side of the defensive line. Back at the Miami 49-yard line, a loss of seven, second and 17 for Miami, 4.55 to play in the game. You know, now Miami in business. First and 10 Miami just inside the 13-yard line of Northern Illinois. Robinson to the far side. Rogers and Cruz to the near side. Play action and Dysart again will get sacked all the way back at the 24-yard line. They came crashing in. Only a three-man rush and all three white jerseys met at the quarterback back at the 24-yard line as D.J. Perkle was the first one there. Well, the offensive line is struggling right now. These guys, are, you know, they only had three or four yards out of bounds. Good point. Triple I formation. 
for Miami. First and goal from the three. Dysart under center. Play action. Looks to throw. Now steps up. Feels pressure and goes down at the nine-yard line. Just not having time for the play to develop as the Huskies collapse the pocket back to the 10. It'll be second and goal there. Clock running, 2.43 to play. They wanted to go on the wheel route to Jordan Stevens, and he just it, it couldn't uh, develop. And Insurance Agency's insurance at 513-896-5555. Red Hawks line up, the ball at the 30-yard line. Cook moves forward, gets the high kick, and the ball is loose. Who's got it? Northern Illinois has the football. The Huskies come down with it at the 44-yard line, and they'll have it there with a minute 55 to play. Miami with only one timeout remaining. Tommy Davis, Tommy Davis came in to catch that football in midair, and he was covered by his teammates. 26th man. Again, Onye Bawaga going in motion to the far side. The snap, the give is to Span. He is hit at the line of scrimmage. Doesn't get all. Now bounces off of it, and he's going to take it to the house. Unbelievable run by Chad Span. This will be a touchdown for Northern Illinois of 41 yards. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Miami did not wrap up, and he spins out of it. Goes 41 yards for a touchdown. He has been the difference maker today on the offensive side of the ball. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage. I think everybody felt like he was going to go down, and he just spun away from it, and he had open field for the score. 26-6. to six. The Huskies out in front. Salerno with those who came to this football game saw some excitement. Yes, they did. This, good football game. There was a good football game. A lot of mistakes, but a good football game. Final play of the game as Dicer drops back to throw. Now steps up in the pocket with time, lobbing it toward the corner of the end zone. It's a jump ball and caught by Armand Robinson for a touchdown. Tipped it right to him. Braden Combs and Andy Cruz and about three white jerseys tip the ball and Armand Robinson is there to dive and haul it in for six as no time remains on the clock. It is 27-22 Huskies. Second touchdown of the day for Armand, but uh, how about that? It, they, they practice that. No time on the clock. The point after a try won't even take place. 27-22 is your final score. We're back to talk about it in a moment. This is Miami football from 